Hi, my name is Father Greg Labus. I am pastor of St. Joseph Church in Edinburgh, Texas, and welcome to Saint of the Week. Today we're going to talk about St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. She was the first American-born saint from the United States. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton was brought up in the Anglican tradition uh, as an Episcopalian. She was married and had five children. Later, her husband fell ill with tuberculosis and died in the early part of the 19th century. In 1805, she became Catholic, and in her newfound religion, she was very zealous for living out the gospel, so much so that she founded a con the first uh, congregation of women religious in the United States, the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph. This led to founding uh, the St. Joseph Academy and Free School in Emmitsburg, Maryland. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton died in 1821 at the age of 46. Wow, how much did she accomplish in her few short years? She was later canonized in 1975 by Pope Paul VI, and she is the first American-born canonized saint for the United States. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is entombed in the National Shrine dedicated to her in Emmitsburg, Maryland. As uh, one of the uh, a founder of Catholic schools in the United States, she is patron, one of the patron saints of Catholic schools in our country. So we invoke St. Elizabeth Ann Seton to promote Catholic education here in the United States. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode. May God bless you. This has been Saint of the Week.